Towards Enlightenment with Dr. Shankar. This talk by Dr. Shankar is titled Nice Day and was recorded in May 12, 2007 in Heusden. Good evening to everybody in Mirai's house. Those who listen to me for the first time may find it difficult to follow what I'm saying. So please exercise patience, those who listen to me for the first time. I say it will be difficult because man generally trusts his mind. Man believes his mind to be the truth. Man has not put the sword of investigation to the mind to find out whether what it reveals to you is it real or not. Man has not yet investigated his mind as to what is its function. The mind's function is to dream. The mind cannot do anything else but dream and it can dream to an extensive degree such that your entire waking state is a dream the mind dreams about. So one must be careful because mind has got a tremendous capacity to imagine it has got such a capacity to imagine that what it imagines, it convinces man that it is real. The imagination of the mind appears real to man. The dream of the mind appears real to man. So it's not going to be easy for you to follow me, those who are listening for the first time. The mind has got the capacity to dream about enlightenment too. Such is its capacity. Because the mind has been manifested by a very intelligent source, by a very intelligent reality, such that it projects a very, very illusory mind which is convincingly real to man. Even the enlightenment he dreams about convinces man that it is real. Mind will trick you. It will trap you into a dream and it will convince you that it is very real. It may not be easy for you to follow that the mind can only dream and the function of the mind is only to dream. It will not be easy. Man has conditioned to believe his mind to be real, so it will not be easy. I understand that. But it is better for you if you could understand that the mind's function is only to dream then the dream will be over for you. Then you will touch what is real. <laughs> 